Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for DC's Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, Episode 15. This episode is entitled Destiny, and this episode is one of the best episodes of Legends of Tomorrow, and I actually cried during this episode, surprisingly. It's weird, because you'd normally with superhero shows, I just don't have that emotional connection to the characters, but Wentworth Miller has done such a good portrayal of Captain Cold this season that seeing him go brought tears to my eyes and the way they did it was very interesting so basically in this episode all of our um, team figure out that uh, the time masters have been manipulating time and everything they've done has been controlled by them so they had to destroy this time well well they get to the they had to fight their way to the time well and Jax is stuck back uh, in the beginning and it explains why Stein drugged him because you know that seems like why would Stein do that Stein doesn't seem like the kind of person to drug him to bring on the ship and so that is explained because the older version of Jax convinces him to drug him. And then he, uh, Jax comes back later in the episode, but it's cool to see it all the way back, you know, see the relationship uh, with the old Jax and the Stein before he got on the ship, and it was really cool seeing that dynamic. Uh, also, in this episode, we got to see brief moments of romantic tension between Sarah and Cap or Sarah and Leonard or uh, the White Canary and Captain Cold and it was very great and very it's it's funny because I enjoyed it way more than the Kendra Ray uh, Carter thing that's been going on this season and it was really cool seeing it so uh, that was cool seeing that dynamic and it was cool seeing uh, Sarah and Cold be the ones to sneak around the base and basically break everybody out and uh, seeing Mick be tortured was very emotional, like, it was very intense, and surprisingly, it was dark for a CW show, and it was interesting seeing how even though he was tortured, he, you know, came back as, uh, as Mick, not Kronos, and he killed that Time Master that was, uh, killing him with, by stepping on him, which was really intense, and the action scenes of this episode were just simply fantastic, they were, you know, I, some, some showings of this show, I was like, that's on par with Arrow, that's on par with Flash, but this episode just blew the Flash and Arrow out of the water as far as that's concerned. Uh, and of course, the moment that we all hate is when Captain Cold dies, he sacrifices himself, saving... Uh, Mick is going to sacrifice himself to save, save Ray, and then, uh, of course, when we're the Millers, Leonard Snart sacrifices himself to blow up the facility, and it's a very emotional moment, and... It's also cool in this episode to see how Rip is just, his world's devastated because he always believed in the Time Masters, so he can't believe that they were working with Savage, but um, they were, and so it's interesting to see that angle of Rip, just uh, his whole purpose in life just being ripped out and thrown down on the ground. So I'd have to give this episode a 9.8 out of 10. This is by far one of the best uh, superhero episodes uh across the board not just in the cw but i mean anywhere it's just a fantastic episode it's emotional there's great action great cgi and it's really great this has been jonesy from jonesy tv uh signing off